What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, we totally mopped the floor with Lieutenant Surge's gym. Yeah, with our Leaf Green team. I mean, Aaliyah actually got a win. I mean, Sparky couldn't get a win in all that stuff, and it's powerful than Aaliyah. So, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, in this episode right here, we're going to be going up against Erica's gym. And uh, I kind of figured that maybe we should try something new. Uh, a mixture of some Pokemon that we have yet to use. So, let's go ahead and register some Pokemon right here. Now, off screen, I did level them up and all that stuff. So, here we go. As you guys already know, I'm going to go with Nessie right here, the Lapras. Ultra Psycho, Godzilla, Godzilla. Of course, I'm gonna bring in a Toxic Batman. Tornado is gonna be in there. And you know what? Let's put in one special Pokemon uh, for this whole thing. I would like to use. I would like to use Thrasher right here because I have a feeling that we're gonna get screwed over in some kind of way. Let's see. Submission, Bubble Beam, Thrash, and Earthquake. Uh, I could go with Smasher right here, but it doesn't necessarily have the moves. Now, the logical choice would be go with... Well, you know what? I'm going to go with Budkiss right here. So we're going to be going with a team. Basically, you know, a random team. And uh, we're just going to go straight forward for Erica's gym. So let's go right ahead and battle. As you can see, we've already completed the first three gyms. Brock, Misty, and Surge. And now Erica is on the loose. And, yeah... She has a lass, a beauty, a cool female, and herself, Erica. So, let's go ahead and get our registered Pokemon. As you can see, we do have four different types of teams. Let's go with the fourth. I am excited because we're going to be seeing some Pokemon that we have yet to use. And, uh, oh wow, it's going to be an interesting one. This lady right here is coming out with some pretty interesting Pokemon herself. As you can see, she has three normal type Pokemon. A rock type Pokemon, I would like to say, and uh, or actually four normal types, a rock type, and a poison type Pokemon. So, you know what? I know what to do with this. Logical choice. And then, you know what? Let's go with Nessie right here. And just to finish it all off, let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. Okay. Let's do this. Here's the first opponent of this I know. I'm using the most broken Pokemon in the game, Ultra Psycho. And, uh, well... We're taking on a shiny Rattata right here, so let's go right ahead and finish him with a Psychic Attack. Because yes, the special is up there. Sue me! I don't care! I want to use all these Pokemon I can, and look at that. Rattata defeated. First, yeah, on the word go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so who's the next Pokemon? I'm pretty sure it's another normal type Pokemon right here. So let's see what we got to fit. Now, Wigglytuff here has an HP... It is going to be high, so it won't be that easy to actually defeat, but here we go, Psychic Attack. Hopefully it takes a much more bigger damage than, you know, most other Pokemon right here, and as you can see, takes half its HP right here, almost half its HP into fit, using Thunder Wave just to mess with us, so now we're slower than this Pokemon right here. If we can get one Psychic off, then that would be great right here. So here goes Tuffet, using its Body Slam. Now... I, I kind of want to say it won't be that much, but look at that. It, it's going off after our uh, our, uh, physical our physical defense right there. And look at that. Critical hit. Sans to fit flying. Yeah, buddy. Ultra Psycho kicking ass. Okay, so who's next? I want the next person to come in and just take on us. Bring it. Eevee it. Or a little Eevee. Now, this should be easy because uh, Eevee is a little tiny Pokemon. So, let's go with a Psychic Attack right here to finish him off. And here comes a double team attack. And, yeah, this is going to be a little difficult just because, yeah, its evasion has gone up. And it hits Eevee. And, okay, alrighty. So, we, 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 definitely have to, we definitely have to hit this guy one more time before... Uh, it uses a uh, evasion and tactics right here. As you can see, now we're hey, yeah, now we're kind of screwed a little bit right here. So let's go with a psychic attack. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yes, sir, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. So a clean sweep of Ultra Psycho. Now it's 
probably time to use other Pokemon just to, for this uh, adventure right here. And look at that, Lass is not so happy because my Ultra Psycho just mopped the floor with her. So the next trainer will be Beauty. All right, Beauty, I'll be your beast right here. Let's get it. And uh, would you look at that? She does have a Dratini. So this looks like it's going to be Nessie. And uh, well, do I have a Pokemon with an electrical attack right here? No, not really. So let's go with Ultra Sacco right here. And uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Godzilla, Godzilla. All right, let's do this. Maximum effort. Going with Nessie, mainly because it does have a nice type attack. And crap basket. She did come out with a. Uh, she did come out with a Pokemon that could mess with me. So let's go back to Ultra Psycho right here. It's going to take a hit. Hopefully this uh, the Sea King doesn't have like a Horn Drill attack. Because if they, if it did, then it's gonna screw me over big time right here. So there we go, Ultra Psycho's back, and here comes a Supersonic. Please do not hit, please do not hit. Come on, yeah, oh crap, baskets. All right, so we're hit. And, well, let's go for a Psychic Attack. Hopefully we get one off, beat this old, uh, this guy. Come on, yes! Ultra Psycho, Ultra Luck. So there goes Sea King, not feeling good. And here comes a Waterfall Attack. And, wow, gets us. Not super effective, but hopefully we can get off one more psychic in order to defeat this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so yes, the curse continues, and here comes another waterfall attack right here. Oh, gravy. And it's a critical hit. Okay, so. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a recover right here. Just to make sure that, you know. Just to make sure that we actually. Oh, god dang it! Oh, man. And there goes Ultra Psycho. Here comes a waterfall attack. It's not going to be pretty good gravy. Okay, so down and out. There goes Ultra Psycho. Thanks to confusion. Ah, oh, crap. So this is what happens when you get all cocky and everything. <sighs> okay. Uh, you know what? Godzilla is going to have to do it. Alrighty, Godzilla. Let's do this. Alrighty, Charizard, faster than this Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and use... Let's go ahead and use a Fly Attack. That way it won't get hit as quickly. It misses it. There we go. There's one. Pull up high. Try and hit me with that Waterfall Attack. And it misses. You see, it doesn't necessarily feel good when you miss an attack, right? So here we go. Fly Attack. Finish him. Come on, Godzilla. And damn it, doesn't defeat him. Yeah, this Pokemon's a little bulky for a goldfish right here. And here comes a waterfall attack. Super effective. Takes most of our HP right here. So let's go right ahead and use a slash attack to finish this guy off. Come on, let's go, slash attack. Slash attack, critical hit. There goes the Sea King right there. Alrighty, okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing a pretty good job, and you know what? We're gonna have to stick with Godzilla right here. And here comes Rhyhorn. Ravy. Okay, so Rhyhorn is a bit of a tough Pokemon to, to take on, but you know what? Let's go right ahead and try and beat it with Charizard, and then conserve, uh, conserve Nessie right here, because it looks like Nessie's going to be our... You know, is going to be the Pokemon that's going to help us out right here. So, here comes a Thunder Attack. And it hits us hard. So, we got one more chance to actually beat this guy. So, let's go right ahead and use another Flamethrower. Hopefully, it gets off a burn. So, here we go. Flamethrower Attack for the win. And it's a critical hit. Oh, my God. Almost defeated this guy. And, well, just like that, it hits us. And it hits him. So we both oh, die. Is it down and out? Hey, no what the hell? Oh, no! It doesn't do any recoil! You suck! Oh, God, no. Rhyhorn should have died with the recoil! What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate you, Generation 1. Okay, Surf Attack for the win. Let's get this. Come on. We got to be faster. Yes. Surf Attack for the win. Technically, Rhyhorn should have died with a recoil. But I completely forgot that we're in Generation 1, so... Yeah, that's not going to work properly. 
Uh, Jeebus. And here comes Pidgey. Oh, Pidgeotto. Okay. So, let's see. We do have a move. We do have a move. It could work. Please, baby Jesus. No sand attack! Oh, no! God damn you, Pidgeotto. All right, here we go. Ice Beam, come on. It does it. And... Oh! <laughs> nearly defeats this guy. Come on. Oh, man. Now, this is a battle right here. And here comes another sand attack. Oh, gravy. And the accuracy has fallen. Come on, Nessie. Finish him. Come on. And there we go. Throwing out the peace sign. I am throwing out the peace sign, guys. Woo! You know, it could be called cockiness, but sometimes it's called confidence and all that crud. So, there we go. We defeated gym trainer number two in an interesting battle right here. I seriously thought she was going to come out with Dratini. That's why I came out with Nessie first, but she really, yeah, she really screwed me over right there. So, here we go, going up against a cool female. And she does have a nice team right there. So, let's go right ahead and... Crap, I should have... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so we're going to play it by ear right here. Nessie's good, and you know what? You know what? We could go for Tornado right here. I have a feeling that this is going to be the one. I should have gone with Ultra... Or, not Ultra Psycho, but I should have gone with... What's his face? Uh, Nido King. And here is a right... Or... <laughs> a Nidor, uh, Nidorina. So, right off the bat, we're... Yeah, we're going to dominate right here. And if this guy was stupid enough to come out with all his poison, or her poison po Pokemon right here, then, uh, yeah. She is in for a long battle, that's right. Say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Duck man. Oh, yeah, defeated you. Okay, so what, what do we got here? And here we have Lickitung. Now, this is going to be an interesting one, because Lickitung is a normal type Pokemon, so... We're going to try and uh, get this guy down. It does have a nice amount of HP, which we should be looking at right here. So here we go. Psychic attack. Special Fallen. Okay, so that gives us a, the ability to hit him one more time. And here comes a Super Sonic. Good gravy. And it failed. Thank you. Thank you, Arceus, for this. Finish him. Psychic attack. Lego. Alrighty, alrighty. And here we go. Psychic attack. Finish him. Lick it tense. That's right. Throwing in the peace sign, winning with my ultra psycho, kicking everybody's booty. And here comes Arena Rant. Oh god, this guy, oh, this chick has been the okay. Okay. All right. So I can, uh, I can, I can breathe now. I can, I can breathe because I can. I'm gonna sweep this chick. Here we go. Finish her. Super effective. Say goodbye to Nidorino. Oh, yeah. And there you go, guys. That is how you win. And, uh, well... Now it's time for our final battle against Erika. And, uh, well, look at that. Pokemon untouched, unscathed, undefeated. Well, not really undefeated. I mean, we got beat in the last one. Okay, so here we go, going up against the gym leader herself, Erica, and yes, she is coming out with nothing but grass type Pokemon, so you guys already know what this is going. Let's do it. Butkus Tornado. Let's go. It would seem... I kind of feel like it would seem that... Uh, oh yeah, it would seem that Toxic Batman's going to have to wait its turn, but it's okay, it's a grass type gym. There's always other battles right here. So here we go. Flamethrower tank for the win. Oh, yeah. Super effective. Execute. Oh, wow. It survived. Ah, oh, snap. And this is what happens when you get all cocky. <laughs> okay, so we're not poisoned just yet. Let's go with the flamethrower. Come on, man. Finish him off. How was I... How was I supposed to know that Ex Execute was going to, you know, survive this flamethrower? Look at that flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Execute. Now, I'm going to use Godzilla every single time. 
until it finally faints. Remember, Toxic does chip away at your HP. It gets worse and worse, and I believe we're going to get hurt right now. No, actually, thanks. Thankfully, it's Generation 1. When it should be affecting us right now, it's not. So here we go. Flamethrower. Finish it. Come on. And right now, we're going to be hurt by the poison. So that's chipping away a little bit. Here comes a Razor Leaf attack. And it's a critical hit, not super effective right here, so let's go flamethrower attack. Blazer. Oh wait, laser, blazer. And Michelle, right here, flamethrower does its thing. Say goodbye to Whipping Bell. Oh yes. Oh yes. Kicking butt and kicking names. We're not getting affected by that toxic, but do not worry guys, we're gonna finish this off. Here comes Gloom. Do not know why you're using Gloom, but here it is, guys. Flamethrower for the win. Here we go. Finish him. And look at that. Critical hit. That's it, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign. Erica has been defeated, and Toxic has only hurt us one time. Stage clear. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. So, <laughs> that was pretty easy. There goes Erica, and I am feeling happy about this. Now, it's going to get harder, guys, because, uh, well, there we go. We defeated Erica, and we we cleared the stage, and I do believe that we get a little plus just because we went without, like, you know, I don't know. Nah, it's probably not going to happen. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be taking on Koga's gym. Now, in Generation 1, Koga is pretty much like the pre-psychic type Pokemon gym before the real psychic type uh, gym. There's not a lot of poison type Pokemon, but we're going to be very, 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 we're going to have to be very strategic about this one right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week for another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. See you guys. Mm -hmm.